This career question is, how do I take credit for the work I have done when the company continually pushes the idea of teamwork? Well, it reminds me of a, I took one of those Harvard online classes. It was like graduate level work. And we got down to the final paper and it was a four person group. And then two of the people in our group went MIA. And I hit up the professor who also happened to be the dean of the extension school. And I'm like, look, I took this class um, with the thought of I'm a business owner. I own a handful of companies. I'm working six or seven days a week. Um, I don't have time to sit here and, you know, do the work of like two other people. And even a third person was kind of only half involved and you know her response was welcome to the real world and I'm like all right fair enough right this is this is how I got somewhere in life and I get that very well so I ended up doing about three quarters of a 60 page this you know presentation we had to put together um, you know it's graduate level business work uh, business class and I think back of uh, that's kind of how everything happens in uh, all parts of the corporate world where you're going to go do a bunch of work and everyone on your team, whether they did the work or not, is going to get credit for it. In my case, you know, we ended up getting an A on that paper and everybody got an A. And I guess that's, I guess you call that fair. Um, and I guess it's one of those things that if your work is really standing out, I'm going to assume your bosses, managers, and the people above know that. I know a lot of times we think that all bosses and all managers and all companies are stupid because that's what you see on TV. That's what you read on social media. But if your work is standing out, they probably know that. Worst case scenario, this stuff ends up on your resume as some kind of metric, such as um, a problem you had and how you solved it. Um, if you're out there crushing it, putting the outcomes on your resume should not be difficult. The next company is not going to know that you were a part of a six-person team that got this stuff done. So it's just one of those things that if you're not getting promoted at the company you're at, it's possible you're not doing as much as you think you're doing. Or if you are doing as much as you think you're doing, and maybe you're just not going anywhere with that company and it's time to make a change. But that stuff should end up on your resume, correct? So it's just one of those things that you know, the good coach who did a great job coaching never gets up on stage and pats himself on the back for coaching. He always says, the team did it, the team did it. Well, the team did do it. Um, it's one of those kind of like selfless moments. It's uh, You don't want to take away, you know, the sh sunshine from everybody else. So I do get the team environment, and I do see where you might feel that you're fading out in the background because we did it, you know, collectively. And let's face it, there's always people that do more than others, there's always people that do less than others. Um, but my thought is your your boss probably knows who did what. Um, I don't know what you expect though. Like, did you come to work and did you do what you're supposed to do or did you go above and beyond? Now, you know, I think where we're at in the world right now, many people want a pat on the back just for coming to work. I get in a conversation with a buddy at a Fortune 500 with his department, just weekly basis. He's got team members that think they should be celebrated, congratulated, and get fresh baked cookies because they show up to work every day and keep a chair warm. So you have to ask yourself, are you keeping a chair warm? How much are you contributing? Are you doing what you're getting paid for? If you're doing what you're getting paid for, then do you want a party thrown for you? Or are you going above and beyond? Are you going way more above and beyond than everybody else? And if you're not seeing the results from that, have a conversation with your manager. And if you're still not getting anywhere, you take all these great things you've done, you put them on your resume, so you got your metrics, you got your KPIs, you got all these outcomes that you were directly a part of, and you help that get the, you use that to help you get the next gig is what it comes down to. 
So I get the team environment and we want everyone to work together as a collective, but often there's many jobs in a company that are just kind of individual contributor roles and you're allowed to kind of just shine on your own. In that team environment, it's a little bit tougher. But if you're sitting back and you really have the receipts to back up that you have done more than everybody else, go have that conversation. Or if you just feel like you're being slighted all the time, and maybe it's time to move on. But there's nothing wrong with the team environment at the end of the day. For me personally, I always like things in life where I could just go succeed and fail on my own. I like boxing. If I got my butt whooped, I knew it was my fault. I had no one else to blame. I went back and trained harder. I played tennis. If I got my butt beat, I knew I had to go back and practice more. I couldn't blame somebody else. It's not that I didn't like team sports. It says that if we lost, it was easy, easy to blame it on all 20 people on the team. Um, I'm fine taking the blame because it makes me want to go back and get better, right? Maybe you need to find a job that's more individual contributor where if you are killing it, then you can get all the praise. That's something you got to think about. Maybe you're not cut out for that team environment. Um, you know, everywhere should be a team environment no matter what. Like, you don't want these companies that are siloed, bunch of infighting, no one sharing information, no one's lifting each other up. It's okay to be part of a team, but if you are that rock star and you feel like the sun's not shining on you, then maybe you got to find yourself a role where you're able to go shine. Anyways, I hope that answers your question. For everyone else listening, um, check the description or the top comment. There'll be a link. If you want to submit your own question, we'll try to get you featured on the show. Until then, we will catch you on the next one.